I, I would say that the Democratic Party no longer has any authentic relationship with the American middle class. The Democratic Party I knew as a boy that represented cops and firefighters and working people is gone. And um, and then the Republican Party has all kinds of problems with their own. President Trump, you know, who got a huge boost from the assassination complaint, uh, attempt, and I commend him for his courage and his leadership during that, that very, very challenging time. Uh, he announced yesterday, according to the New York Post, that he is choosing between Jamie Dimon, who's the head of Morgan, and Larry Fink, who's the head of BlackRock, as his Treasury Secretary. And this is, you know, I, I, I think people cannot take seriously his promise that he's going to drain the swamp if he actually once again brings these swamp creatures in to run our government. BlackRock is, you know, is... America, American middle class is not fond of, of BlackRock, and they see, you know, all of the machinations, the its role in the war in Ukraine, where it's got not only the contracts because it owns all the military contractors to blow up Ukraine, all the bridges and ports and schools and hospitals, but it also has the contracts to rebuild Ukraine. And, you know, it owns the credit card companies that are bankrupting Americans that are charging 32%. It, 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 all of the, the economic problems that we have, which are the result of this systematic um, strip mining of wealth from the American middle class and sending it upward to this new oligarchy of billionaires, it's all been orchestrated uh, by BlackRock. And to bring them in to run the Treasury is not, I think it sends a bad signal. I think it's going to be a vulnerability for President Trump.